Hey guys, you may notice that we are missing a third of our hosts. Yeah. Um, we needed to create a modified intro for this episode that's dropping this week, and Vivi is not with us this week. So it's just Jimbo and I. Uh, our episode was very long, so what we're going to do is break it up into three segments. So we need another intro. And as always, we're going to kick off with thanking our partners, 002. They have three upcoming tournaments. Yep. Starting with Waco and then going over to Horseshoe Bay. So don't forget to go to pickleballbrackets.com and use our deal code, D-I-L-L, mm -hmm. to get a discount. And we have some big news, right? Yeah, yeah, we do have big news. We're yeah. um, partnering, partnering with Hands Pickleball, um, Hands, H-A-N-D-Z. Uh, um, check out their website and their social medias. Um, platforms they have balls they have paddles they have bags shirts hats just all kinds of gear we're gonna look uh we're looking to drop some fun content trying out some of their gear some of their equipment um go to their website use our uh, discount code it's deal 10 d-i-l-l one zero um and hands is also partnering with texas pickle hall which is going to be a new state-of-the-art indoor pickleball facility here in San Antonio. So uh, we're looking forward to some groundbreaking uh, for that facility. Mm -hmm. um, check out their social media, um, you know, Texas Pickle Hall. Check out their website, texaspicklehall.com. Uh, get some more info on, uh, on what's going down with Pickle Hall. So yeah. thanks, guys. All right. And here we go with our episode. Thank you. Thanks. Then I can go into some. Well, I mean, we run out of time. Like, I think we all have a lot of hate. I in have our two hate, and I have two players that I just. Let's hear it. Who who do you hate? Are who we do doing this? <laughs> no, you. Don't, I mean, you don't have to. Well, we know okay. that I really oh. don't like Kaden. Okay. Oh, um, and I really don't like oh. Anne Lee. Mm. And I think that. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous to say this. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> is this a prediction? No, this oh, is okay. just me it's saying just, I don't like these okay. players. Hidden, I, I, I won't get quite get into it, but in Lee, she would not be as famous as she was if she was not 16 years old. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And that definitely helps the storyline. Yeah, I for just, sure. you know, I feel like, it's it's fine if you know you want to do if you want to be you know she's the number one player but I think it's gone way too far. I feel like a lot of the things that she's accomplished are really really too much. What do you mean? Why do you finger quote accomplish? If you're not watching, she, bunny ears she did the bunny ears <laughs> accomplished. Like those are true. Like. She does have those triple crowns. No, no, no. I'm not even. Like, I'm not even talking about pickleball right now. Oh, okay. I'm talking about. She has her master class. We know that. Yeah. I feel like that's so. Full. Why are we not using like Ben? Why does it have to be Annalie? I, I Why will does say, it have to be yeah. Annalie in every single commercial? Like, like there are other girls, and I feel like that it makes. Mm. She takes so much spotlight away from so many other players. It literally makes me well so upset. Can I? Can I? tell you why i think that's why or do you want to no like, go ahead what go are we ahead. doing like how long is this show gonna be it's 28 like, minutes right now okay timekeeper but <laughs> I, I think that i think that pickleball knows like they have captured the attention and they have the audience of the you know 40 plus like you know maybe 50 plus maybe 60 plus but i think that anna lee is um you know, I mean, they they need a younger crowd watching pickleball, like for it to be sustainable. Like they need a younger crowd that's going to start watching pickle pickleball and continue to watch pickleball because sooner or later, like this older crowd is going to like stop watching it, and after that, who who is like who's gonna who's gonna watch? You know, and I think Anna Lee does a lot for you know for sixteen year old. I've, I don't. Maybe no, no, no. I, I don't. And that's because I, I mean, I've met every, I mean, I obviously haven't met every junior, but I have met every junior that plays in next gen. And mm -hmm. I know that none of them actually really care about Annalie and how she's 16 years old. And they're not like, I started playing pickleball 
um, as a junior because of Annalie. No. Like, I feel like actually, when it comes to juniors, nobody actually cares. I feel like we all just did care you, about. So did you not start playing pickleball because of Annalie? Honestly. No, 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 no. Okay. I mean, was that not a motivating factor for you? No. You said, well, the, the, the best women's player in the world is my age. Like. No. No. Okay. No. Okay. I don't. Sorry. Oh, um, so that's an interesting question, though. Like, you may not have started playing because of Annalie, but did it help you believe that it's possible that you could be young and be on the pro tour. Like, I think she does help there. Maybe it's not the, oh, I see this 16 year old that's well, yeah. number one. And there was also another 16 or 17 year old that Vivi knew well. That was, <laughs> I get you know that. What I mean? Come on now. I'm saying what, I, and we don't have to use Vivi as an example. Yeah. You may not have started because of Annalie, but the more junior players you see at that level, and Annalie is the highest rated junior player right now. She's 16. No, no, old. no. She's not only the highest rated, rated junior player, but she's also the highest rated player point blank period. 100% agree. So to a junior, that makes it seem like it's possible. The more you see competitively playing under the, 18, under the age of 18, you think, wow, maybe if I do put the time and effort, this is something that I can achieve. Oh, I, so I, I agree. The, like, you know how when people want to do sports like, I guess, ballet and tennis and golf, yeah. this is like the same thing. Ann Lee has been playing since she was 11 or 12, and I didn't start playing until I was 14, so I knew that it's a completely different story when you've been playing pickleball since you were a little girl and then when you're like a teenager. Like, it's a very big difference, so I know that. It doesn't make me like, oh, well, she's my age because, like, she's the best and she's my age, but she's also been playing a lot longer than me, so I know that I can't compare us. Like, I don't, I don't like to compare myself to players that I know have been in, like, doing this for longer than me. Mm -hmm. Even if, I don't know if she played tennis when she was even younger, but, like, when I know that somebody's been playing tennis since they were four or five, then I have no reason to try and compare myself. But that's also just personal. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that is personal. I think the more, and, and I think that Pickleball recognizes that. The Pickleball organizations recognize that if you want to get junior players, you have to highlight junior players. Now, I agree that they've heavily highlighted Annalie. Yeah. Like, and there are a lot of junior players that are very skilled and they're building out their own so social platforms mm -hmm. and don't have the backing that somebody like Anna Lee does. Yeah. Um, but I'm not going to say she doesn't, she hasn't earned it. She's a good player. She's a great athlete. I mean, mm -hmm. she, I'm not going to take anything away from her on that. I just don't love her. Like, I don't know what it is about her. Yeah. I don't hate her. I don't love her. I wish that there was somebody who was more competitive with yeah. her. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't. I definitely don't hate her. Um, can't hate on what she's doing. Like, what what she's achieved, as easy as it may look when you watch it. Like, there's so much work put that's put in behind all those triple crowns. Like, it's got to be. I mean, it's unbelievable. I'm sure. Like, how much time she puts in, in the gym, on the court, with you know whatever, you know mental uh doctor she has like just to because she's young like i mean you know i mean she's yeah you know she's a young woman I'm that has a lot of growing to do and yeah. like what you know who knows what she's like when she's 18 like is I, she still playing like do you get bored I don't, do you yeah, get bored I, that's exactly what mm -hmm. i think is that she's 16 years old maybe coming on 17 now yeah um I think that her runway is owned by her. And mm -hmm. I, what, what do you, are you really going to play pickleball for the next 20, right. 30 years? Right. And you know what else that we're kind of forgetting? What? Is her mom is Leanne, and she, what, she was a senior pro or just a normal pro mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, before no. Anna Lee. Mm -hmm. So I think there's a little nepotism going on. Always, always. Yeah. Of course, when you're the child of a, professional anything there's going to be nepotism involved and I think that really did get her started well why do we say well uh, 
there are there's a network already there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nepotism means that you were given a leg up over anybody else. Annalee wins. She wins. She goes on the court and she wins. I don't care who she plays. She wins. She's yeah. lost very little. The time she has lost have been a little traumatic. <laughs> yeah. Right? Like yeah. she doesn't, she's so used to winning that mm-hmm. losing for her is mm-hmm. traumatic. Right? Yeah. But well, but I, I think the connections were there because of who her mom is. And I think her mom's probably a heck of a businesswoman. Well, her, her mom, her, so her mom and Anna Lee, like in the early, like 12, 13 year olds of Anna Lee, like, they played together. It wasn't like Annalise here, she wants to play with Simone. No, it was like, you're playing with me, and we're going to go out, and we're going to win nationals. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, and then we're going to go out the next year and win almost everything. And, you know, I mean, I, I don't think it was given to Annalise. I think that her mom worked with her and said, okay, if you want to do this, like, me and you are going to do it together. You're, you're not going to get a leg up on everybody. You're going to have to earn it, and you're going to have to earn it with me. If that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, I yeah, I think that that's true. So we're at 35 minutes <laughs> and we've talked a lot about sorry. Emily. Right? I... No, 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 sorry. I'm like, but is there anyone else we're throwing in the hat of like players we don't like? Players we don't like. And we this was not scripted. We were talking about people that we did like, but Yeah, we're supposed to make some the, predictions too. Yeah, huh? The predictions, do we want to move to predictions or yeah.